In the last videos we learned how we can work with QGIS in general, how we get data in and get data out again, and how we can make maps. From now onward I would like to have more analytical work. And um, the first task that we will do is to analyze this distribution of C14 dates in Switzerland. To start with that, um, I would like to extract the C14 dates from Switzerland from an overarching uh, mapping of these C14 dates, from an overarching vector data where uh, Europe-wide C14 dates are stored. So we need um, the shape of Switzerland to extract only those data that are related to Switzerland. To start with that, I prepared here two layers. One represents the cantonal borders and the other one uh, represents the lakes. Because as you can see here in our cantonal borders, the lakes represent gaps. So they are not uh, visible here as polygons. And to get all the data from Switzerland, including the lakes, we need to combine these two layers. So that's what we are doing essentially in this first part. We make an extraction layer from our information that we have so that we can later um, cut out those data, those C14 data that we need. Okay, to do so, we need to combine these two layers into one layer, ideally in one big polygon and then we can use this polygon to extract the data. It's not necessarily the uh, most straightforward way to do this. Um, we probably would not need this essentially to, to come to the same result, but here it serves as a good example how we can manipulate different geometries and how we can combine different geometries. Okay, the aim is to combine everything here into one big polygon. To do that, at first we have to combine these two layers into one layer. We can do that by using these vector tools here and especially these geometry processing tools. And there we find um, the usual um, set theory uh, methods, for example, finding the difference or this here it's called symmetric difference or the, uni uh, the, the intersection of two layers or the union. And that's what we in the end want to achieve. So we want to have all the information from one layer and all the information from the other layer combined in a new layer. So we, what we are doing here is a union or Vereinigung in the German uh, menu system here. So when I click on that, um, here in this window, I'm asked to specify one input layer that can be our continental borders and the overlay layer. So we will use the lake layer here as an overlay layer and we want to unify both of them. Um, that's more or less all what you can specify here. There are some advanced parameters that are not of relevance for us at the moment. And two more things that we can decide on. One, decide where to save the unified layer. If we do not select anything here, a tempor temporary layer is uh, created and that's fine for us at the moment. So we don't need to save this layer. It just serves as an intermediate step. The next thing is if we want to add the uh, resulting file after a successful uh, run of this algorithm to our QGIS um, layer set and here the checkbox is already checked and I would like to have that. So I would like immediately to have the result visible in my map. So I need the input layer and the overlay layer and that's essentially all. I can click on start and now the layer stays open. Um, not the layer, the dialog here stays open. Um, I could start with new parameters, again the same process. Here what we now see is the protocol and it was a success, so algorithm um, union is finished and we can close that. And now we have here a very green, in my case, layer. And when I remove this or when I make this invisible, you can see here in the background it covers all the other layers. We can also look into the attribute table there we see that now we have here the uh, columns of the two layers 
combined into one layer and also we can see that we have here our lakes and up here we have our cantons available and this usually is um, um, intermixing so we have on one hand we have all the cantons and on the other hand we have all the lakes here so that's fine so now we have multiple polygons still but they cover the whole extent of Switzerland including the lakes next step is to make this just one polygon to do that we can again go to vector and then to geometry processing tools and here is the item of dissolve auflösen where from the picture it already says that you now combine the polygons into one big polygon so we do that here we only have to specify one input layer that's our union layer that we just created the temporary one and we could for example select here something uh, field specific we will not do that again we can decide to immediately save this as a file or create a temporary layer that's fine for us and again that it is added out uh, directly to our QGIS I also would like to have that I click on start and another layer appears here the result is positive so it uh, there is no error here I can close that down and now I can see here one layer covering the whole Switzerland without any cantonal borders visible any longer what we still can see are some tiny little marks scratches here I can zoom in you can see that here are some lines still there and that is our situations where the geometries of the different layers didn't match up perfectly so here we have some small gaps that are really tiny but still in GIS the results in something that's visible here we probably would like to remove these and to do so I have to switch to the edit mode and beside this add new polygon object that we already used here is the uh, vertices tool if I click on that I can go over the map here you can see that here are a lot of little points so I can zoom to one and if I would click and drag this somewhere I can edit this this vertices can go inside here and show you that with this one um, probably the color is not perfect to see that um, maybe I'll switch fast the filling to something where this sticks out more so now you can see here here's the vertex, vertex and I can select that and then I can drag that around to somewhere else so with that you can change the output or the structure of your map but what we essentially would like to do is to remove them so I can just make a rectangle here to select all of them and then I just click on uh, delete on my keyboard and then this is gone I can repeat that for all the other vertices that doesn't make any sense here for us so I go over the whole map here's a bit more here are also some and over here and then over here and that should it be ah down here are still some so these are small errors in the uh, geometries that we are now just removed I can click on save now and switch the editing mode and now we have our total layer of Switzerland with adjacent lakes and what we can do with that I will show you in the next video